One of my guilty pleasures when it comes to Red Dead Online is my wanderlust spirit. Yes, my desire to traverse throughout the lands of Red Dead Online and at times beyond the barriers of the map. Over a year ago was my first taste of being outside the map on Xbox One back during the beta, along with a friend of mine, Junior, not to be confused with Tank Engine Junior, another Junior, the OG Junior. He uh, took me on a little trip down to Mexico, as well as to Guarma, back when Guarma actually existed. And what's interesting, uh, we have discovered that uh, Guarma's gone. Thanks to uh, Trippy Commentaries, another content creator, as well as during uh, Fat Chinese Gaming's live stream. I was with him uh, yesterday. We were exploring, quote-unquote, Canada and around the northern part of the map and on the other side of the Lanahatchee, as I like to call it, the Outer Banks. He found his way to Guarma, where Guarma was supposed to be. But anyways, Sean made this suggestion a while back, and a few others have left comments very similar for a map expansions idea video because I'm not the only one that would like to have other places to venture to in Red Dead Online. Now we got plenty of room at the moment from New Austin to West Elizabeth, Amberino, as well as uh, New Hanover, all the way to Lemoyne, but I guess we just want more. And it's so fascinating that there is plenty of land beyond the map. It's amazing how far it goes. Now, eventually, the further you go, the, the more de the uh, game gets graphically, and it goes from being like Red Dead Redemption 2 graphics to Red Dead Redemption 1 graphics, all the way down to, I would say, probably Grand Theft Auto 3D graphics, the further you go. But this has been an ideas video I've been wanting to make for quite a while now, and it's something we've talked about numerous occasions on several live streams, and some of these ideas are quite possible. Others will never, ever occur. But a few suggestions that I would like to put out there is the big one. We'll start big and go from there. Mexico, specifically Nuevo Paraiso, the fictional state from Red Dead Redemption 1. Technically, Mexico does exist in the map of Red Dead Online. I've been there quite a few times. It's a skeleton, just like in other games, they would create the skeleton in order to have, if they ever decided to make an expansion or a future DLC, to build on top of the skeleton. And uh, data miners have also found low-res versions of the towns of Escalera, Chuparosa, Los Marinas, as well as other places. Plus, if you look across the San Luis River, you can see uh, kind of like a derezzed version of El Presidio. It looks fine from a distance, but once you get close enough, you see that it's basically just a shell. It's just meant to be seen across the river because if it wasn't there, players would notice. But it's amazing that you can venture throughout Mexico in Nuevo Paraiso, and even though there's no uh, towns at the moment or the uh, graveyard or the nunnery, there still is other landmarks like uh, the palm trees, uh, rock formations. It really is quite beautiful and it's awesome to venture around Mexico. Plus you see and hear unique sounds. Well, you don't see sounds, you hear sounds, but you hear unique sounds over there when you're venturing around Mexico. And it does make me wonder if Rockstar actually eventually plans on adding Mexico as a future expansion. And this is something I've suggested before, many of you as well, perhaps for the 10th anniversary of Red Dead Redemption 1, they do a remake and they repackage it as a story DLC for Red Dead Redemption 2, which would satisfy everybody that's been wanting DLC for Red Dead Redemption 2. And it would also serve as an opportunity for players that have yet to play Red Dead Redemption 1 to be able to play it. As long as it's faithful to the original game, and includes most of the voice actors, specifically like John Marston's voice actor. And it actually does a good job uh, feeling like Red Dead Redemption 1, but obviously graphically much better because it would be on the Red Dead Redemption 2's version of the Rage Engine. It would also serve as a expansion for Red Dead Online. Now, some other parts of the map that we'll talk about real quick are... I guess we've been giving them nicknames, like uh, most prominently uh, north of the map is known as quote-unquote Canada, 
And I guess Canada kind of begins on the uh, left side of the map when you venture up to uh, near the snow region and then above Amberino. All that is considered, quote unquote, Canada. It's just the name we call it. But a few other spots around the map that you can actually get to uh, through uh, posse infighting, FYI, with at least two players, is what I would like to call the Void, which is to basically the west of New Austin. And that's how a lot of players, including myself, were able to venture south around the San Luis and uh, get into Mexico. So you got the Void. And then also discovered an area uh, just north of Mexico that I am calling the Plateau because you kind of have to parkour your way up to it. And then once you get up there, it feels like a plateau. And it doesn't feel like Mexico anymore. In fact, it feels more like Hennigan geographically than it does Mexico. So I like to call that part of the map on this outer map I made. Uh, it's not 100% accurate, but it's kind of close. So I consider that to be uh, the plateau all the way up to the base of Flatiron Lake. And once you get to the Lanahatchee, I like to call that part of the map the Outer Banks. And yeah, you can end up venturing around the Outer Banks as well as on the plateau. And there's two ways you can do it. Going through Mexico or going uh, north all the way up to the tip top of the map, the north east, eastern region. And you can actually, uh, if you manage to get your horse over there, you can actually swim across near this area with a peninsula very far up in the northeast above the Lanahatchee. And it takes a quick minute, but if you're able to actually get across the water and get to the peninsula, then you're able to uh, come at the uh, Outer Banks from the northern side and go down the map. And Fat Chinese Gaming was able to go from the Outer Banks all the way to uh, Guarma. So well done, Fat Chinese Gaming. So yeah, for now, you do have the ability to uh, travel outside the map via posse infighting. Speaking of Guarma, so there was a time, as I mentioned earlier, during the beta period, where you could actually get to Guarma. And Guarma was there back in the day. But uh, trippy commentaries, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, Fat Chinese Gaming have both made it to Guarma, and unfortunately, what is there is a very, very low-res version of Guarma. I don't know why Rockstar removed Guarma, from the Red Dead Online map. Perhaps Red Dead Online runs considerably better without Guarma being parked on that corner of the map because that's basically where Guarma is. Or maybe they just got tired of us going to Guarma. But the two, I guess, best options that we may have for potential map expansions would be Mexico, the Nuevo Paraiso area, and possibly Guarma. Now, I'm leaning against Guarma because for years in Grand Theft Auto Online, we wanted to go to North Yankton. There was a time when you could go into North Yankton, but Rockstar patched that, and to this day, they never bothered giving us a expansion when it came to North Yankton. So I don't think that we're ever going to be able to go to Guarma. But there is other options for Guarma besides having us, you know, venture there. They could use it for uh, some uh, PvP modes, some various maps. Like Red suggested in Discord, uh, death matches. You could do uh, some showdown series, gun rush, elimination, perhaps some uh, races on the map of Guarma. They also use Sissica for some uh, PvP maps. And at the moment, we can't get to Sissica either. And it's the same thing for Guarma. So maybe eventually Rockstar will simply just use Guarma for PvP maps. And these are great locations to explore. Well, Guarma used to be. But along with the ability to go to Mexico or Guarma, there would also be like unique animals you would come across. Like in Guarma, there are parrots, or there once again used to be parrots. They still exist along with Guarma in Red Dead Redemption 2 Chapter 5. That's the only place you can actually go and visit Guarma if you actually want to go to Guarma these days in story mode. But uh, there was a time in Red Dead Redemption 1 where there were bobcats and maybe they would add bobcats uh, to the Mexico expansion or, and perhaps some other unique animals as well. And along with uh, adding uh, Mexico, uh, you know, looking very, very similar to how it does in uh, Red Dead Redemption 1 of all the towns, the graveyard. Uh, they would also have uh, maybe uh, some stranger missions, free roam missions, maybe new free roam event maps uh, they would add uh, for Mexico, like uh, a Mexico salvage, a Mexico trade route, because there is a train line that runs through Mexico 
uh, some other uh, Free Realm events as well, uh, based in Mexico, as well as story missions. And there are various characters that they could use from both Red Dead Redemption 2 as well as Red Dead Redemption 1. If they ever were to give us Guarma, which once again, at this point, I highly doubt. But there are characters you interact with in Chapter 5 including uh, Hercu Fontaine, along with Levi Simon, uh, Colonel Alberto Fusar. Those would be good mission givers for uh, Guarma. And then going back to Red Dead Redemption 1 into Mexico, there were several characters that John Marston encountered, including the governor of Nuevo Paraiso, Mexico, uh, Colonel Allende. Uh, he is a mission giver, potentially. There's a very real possibility that even in 1898, He's still a colonel, perhaps even still governor of Nuevo Paraiso. You could also have a younger version of Vicente de Santa. Uh, he's a captain in Red Dead Redemption 1, which takes place in 1911. So perhaps he's just a lieutenant in 1898. But he still could also be you know, a loyal soldier of Allende. And another captain was uh, Espinosa. And uh, he may still also be a captain because he's a lot older than Vincente de Santa. So you could have that dynamic as well because those two guys really didn't like each other. And they were always competing for, uh, I guess, the affections of uh, Colonel Allende. So those are mission givers. On the other side, you could have uh, the revolutionaries like Abraham Reyes as well as Victor Melendez. Now, I know some of you would probably love to see Luisa in Red Dead Online, but according to Red Dead Wiki, she was 19 years old in Red Dead Redemption 1, which means she's considerably younger in Red Dead Online's time period, which is, I think, roughly 1898. So she would just be a, probably a kid in that time period. I mean, maybe we'll encounter a kid version of Louisa, and that's a possibility, but I don't know if uh, she would actually be a character that we would interact with in Mexico should we ever get uh, a Mexico expansion to Red Dead Online. But it would be really cool because, you know, along with having all these different modes and mission givers and uh, other uh, maps for PvP action, it would also be uh, locations for uh, potential properties that we could purchase down the road as well. But Guarma, once again, that's one that I fear will most likely never, ever get as an expansion, but here's hoping that at the very least Rockstar actually uses it similar to Sisica for PvP maps. But uh, the uh, other regions of the map, like quote unquote Canada, the Void, Plateau, the Outer Banks as I like to call them, they're fun to explore for now, but eventually I think Rockstar will just keep patching the game and sadly ultimately make it impossible for us to reach those parts of the map because obviously they don't want us to go there. But at the very least, the most realistic option that we have is potentially Nuevo Paraiso somewhere down the road, maybe for the 10th anniversary of Red Dead Redemption 1. While we should never give our hopes up at the same time, I just really want to be able to travel to Mexico and uh, do things over there as well because it seems like such a waste for it to be sitting there and we look at it across the San Luis with envious eyes and the only way we can get across them over there is through the void and with posse infighting <laughs> I would just like to be able to go over there across a bridge legitimately Rockstar is that too much to ask Hopefully that's something Rockstar's planning somewhere down the road. But anyways, your thoughts, your views, opinions about map expansion ideas for Red Dead Online. What all would you like to see added? Uh, Mexico, Guarama, uh, some of the other spots that we can venture to. And what all would you like to be able to do in Guarama, Mexico, or elsewhere? Your thoughts, your views, and opinions, as always, welcome below in the comments section. Mm -hmm.